So I bought this American DJ Fogstorm 700. It's a high output professional frog machine and it does a great job. It'll smoke up this whole room right quick. So I painted a face on the front of it and that's all fun and good. Uh, then I put an elephant trunk to a fat radiator hose and then on down to a smaller radiator hose. And I tore apart a gas cap and plugged this one in and hot glued it so it's nice and sealed up tight. And so you hit this and it leaks a bunch of fog out here. So you gotta dissipate that right quick. But the fun thing is, is that it works. Um, like these filler necks, sometimes they're down in the body and it's difficult to see if the filler neck is leaking or not. So I look at the gas tank, look up the filler neck, and there's nothing there. So I'm like, ah crap, it didn't work. So I thought for sure that's what the damage was. But anyway, if you take off one of the lines, I thought, well, let's test this. Pull a line and see if there's smoke. So I pull the line, and sure enough, there's just smoke and smoke and smoke and smoke. So it is effective, at least for checking your gas tank and your filler neck and all that stuff. This particular system is a little fussy because it has a leak detection pump. And as it turns out, that's what's causing the code is a leak detection pump's bad. You look at... Um, let's see. Sorry, I'm gonna make everybody sick. Here's your charcoal canister that stores all the fumes. And I checked all the lines on this, and they're all good. And then you got this big fat line that goes from the canister all the way over here up to the leak detection pump. And this leak detection pump, I believe, is what's bad. So I got the wrong end of the car jacked up. I'm gonna have to jack that up now. Um, but basically it pumps down the system to see if there is an evap leak. I've got a code P0455. It says that there's a gross vacuum leak. So I thought, perfect, I'll just build this thing because I've had it on my mind to do that for a while. And uh, it'll show a gross leak. You know, I figured it'd be the, the filler neck. I checked the gas cap. The gas cap's fine. Put my mouth on it and blew. You only want to blow like two PSI, three PSI max into these systems. I think they can handle four, but um, if you blow too hard, it'll mess them up. It'll break your pump. It'll break your little uh, pressure sensor. It's trouble. So anyway, this this has a little back relief, so that when I hit the gas on this, what it doesn't get shoved up into there, it will come out here anyway. It's nice to not have the shop full of smoke and it doesn't stink it's you know it's made for being on a dance floor where people are breathing hard so it's not going to mess you up i'm not going to smoke a cigar to test for any vap leak never smoked in my life i'm not going to start now um, so anyway and this just comes apart you can just pull these right apart i'll show you see so you got a little leak I'll just go puff 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 big leak you see something like this See, look at all that. That's pretty good. So anyway, there's my evap smoke machine that I made. I think this was like a hundred bucks or something like that. So and this way I can just leave this on there. It's just hose clamped on, but with the face, you know, my daughter will love it. That's mostly who the dance party stuff's for. She really loves that stuff. So anyway, rock and roll. I didn't even show you the rest of this. I ought to get this out of here and just show you. Um, when you go to do, look at all that smoke. That's pretty cool. So anyway, this stuff just hangs and hangs in the air. It's really effective. So what I did is I took a gas cap. Let's see, I usually just keep a whole bunch of caps on hand, you know, for little projects like this. I took a cap, I busted the back end of it off, I glued the inside, glued around the outside, just went crazy on the thing to seal it up. And so uh, there's a little cavity to this side of it, so I just put the hose in there and glued it, as you can see. Not super complicated, but pretty effective. So this is the vacuum port here that goes to the EVAP. You can see the little green cap down there. So pulling on that for the EVAP, uh, everything's holding fine. So this is the intake part. So the next thing we'll do, uh, our valve is holding, everything's good that way. So we need to get into that uh, little pump down there and see what the deal is. So with the that. purge control solenoid on this little van 
is where'd you go where'd you go it's down here I pulled the vacuum lines off of it and see this is a little green cap one I thought the other one was but it has one clear on the other side of the engine bay so as I look at that look at that vacuum hose that big old crack in the side of it so I'm vacuum testing and I'm like pump 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 nothing is building pressure I'm like son of a gun so I just start picking out the lines and just picking them off. I vacuum tested over here and the one coming up from this side was good but the one coming up to the purge solenoid is bad. So we're going to replace that line. I forgot to mention with this little green cap I followed the line all the way back down to the canister and I blocked it off at the canister. And uh, as I pull this up, take a look at this. Ooh, that's not going to hold a vacuum. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and replace that. I tried pinching off, also I pulled it off of the line back here and blocked it off there and that's how I tracked it to that because that was not easy to see. It wasn't facing up like that when this I This is the it. video that never ends. Same with the EVAP problem. So I got the new one on and I pressure tested it with my finger on the end with the system with the, nothing's holding. So I look at it, it's looking good. Underneath the stupid tag there's another crack on the other line. I should have looked at that more careful. I'm looking all the way around so I think, nope, one spot that you can't see, it's leaking. So I'll do that too.